Welcome to the Vos, your wild and crazy uncut news station. All right, tonight is the famous fight. Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. This is going to be the most interesting fight ever in history. Um, Conor McGregor, an MMA fighter out of Ireland, really good. Unlike, you know, he won like mad fights. Um, he's only lost the um to Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz, which is like, which outweighs him, which is bigger than him once, and then he beat him again. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be crazy. And, um, Connor is known for his stand-up and wrestling. His jits is not that well. Obviously, you saw how he got submitted by, um, Nate Diaz. But, um, McG um, Floyd Mayweather, damn, is an undefeated boxer. He beat a lot of ass. 49 and 0. Whatever. I don't know his record. I forgot. Like, yeah. Last I like, checked was 49. I think he won a couple more. But yeah, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be crazy. Um, he hasn't. I don't think he's been really training. He retired after his last fight. He won. So he's like, yeah, he's retired. I don't know. If I was um, Mayweather, I would still. Um, I would still fight till I really can't fight anymore. Till I'm, till actually, I start like getting my ass beat. Until I get my ass beat once. If I was on um, Vic Mayweather, I was like, dan dan dan. Seat seats mess me up. All right, all right, enough of that. Um. Oh, it's like Vic Mayweather. I would fight until my ass gets beat. Like, I would see if a tie lose. Like, a couple times. Like, like dan, 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 dan. <laughs> if, I, if I get my ass beat, like, really bad, then I'm like, all right, whatever. It's time to take, you know, to, to retire. And I would still kind of get, like, regular fights where um, the guy's, like, my, you know, not that badass. So I can, you know. Not get killed and go brain dead. But I would stay in the sport, you know. If I made that much of a living doing it, I would never quit. But Mayweather, you know, he's trying. He wants to be um, rich as hell. He wants to be even richer. Um, yeah, Conor McGregor, I've seen him lately. I didn't think he was that good. I thought like he was like crap. I mean, I knew his stand his his stand up is what wins him the fights in MMA. But he um actually um had did pretty decent stand up. I mean, boxing. So it was like nah, nah, nah. like I saw him like I was like, damn, he's gonna get his ass beat because they had some um. Some spar match, um, where um, he didn't do that well, and he was kind of getting his ass beat. It was like cut like a year ago, I guess. I don't know where it was, but like, it was some spar match when he didn't do that well or something. I don't know if it was him or if it was like a fake video because I didn't really look that much into it. So, you know, I've trained for years. You know, I've boxed. Spartan boxing a lot, um, kickboxing, MMA, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu I've been doing for years. So, I mean, I've been doing this shit for like so long. So, I kind of have like, you know, a feeling about um, this, you know, this fight. Um, but damn, I've seen Connor like recently, like, like training, and he, he sparred some pro and knocked him out or whatever, and knocked him on his ass. And then the pro got pissed because he, like, um, boasted about it and he posted the video all over or whatnot. You can find the video probably if you go do a research. And he was like, he, he knocked his ass down or whatever. 
I mean, the guy was kind of butthurt about it. I mean, that's something you don't do in boxing. You don't go like, like you know, like kiss and tell. You ever heard of kiss and tell? You don't punch and tell, you know what I'm saying? So like, or kick and tell. Like, you know, if you go out, if you're sparring, like say if I versed like Algeria and he beats my ass, he's not going to be like, oh, I beat Victor's ass all over the ring. I raped him. You don't really do that. It's not like, it's not training etiquette and boxing, kickboxing, MMA, jiu-jitsu. You don't say, oh, I tapped the crap out of him. I tapped his ass. Like, oof. Like, if you're, like, having a conversation, so how'd you do against Crusher Jones? I did all right, I guess. I don't know. Um, you don't, you like, you don't, I mean, because, you know, people are going to ask you, like, if you train and you spar with someone. Like, how'd you do against Crusher Jones? The way you're going to um, approach it is you're going to be like, yeah, um, you know, we did all right, you know, he was all right. Maybe he didn't have energy or something, but, you know, I, I, I you know, we did it, you know, did all right, you know, and then that's it. You don't be like, this is what you don't do. Oh, I beat Crusher Jones's ass, yo. I, like, smoked him. I, I he, he threw a fist. I, I slipped it and went boom right in his jaw. Oh, man, I was taxing his ass. He needed rounds off, yo. He needed to take a round off a couple times. Oh, I beat that ass. I beat the brakes off that boy. Ooh. That's that's um something you don't do in sparring. When you spar someone. Because they'll get really pissed. You know, it's not it's like not tr proper training etiquette. You could be in trouble with your um gym and maybe kicked out or something. And people won't really like you. You'd be like, oh, that guy, oh, he's just a douche. Man, I don't want to train with him because, yo, imagine, like, I don't want to train with this crusher guy because, yo, as soon as he hits me with a kick or something and knocks me on my butt, guess what? The whole world's going to know about it. It's going to be like, um, it's going to be freaking, like, um, eyewitness news. And they're going to be like, fuck that shit, yo, I don't want to train with that guy. And then you're not going to get good training. It's going to be hard to get sparring in for your fights because you talk all this poop and you say how, how, how much of an ass, how much ass you beat. Then you're going to be oh, he beat so much, ass, so much ass. Yeah, well, you're not going to be beating any more ass because no one's going to give their self up in the ring to let you beat their ass. So that's what you can't really be doing that. So um, what I think is going to happen, I'm going to try to find some betting sites. Um, I'm going to try to bet a lot. I mean, don't bet, don't bet your whole bank account. Let's say, like, if you have, like, um, if you're, like, you know, if you have family or whatever, you have 10,000 bucks in your account. Don't bet like 10,000 or 9,900. Like, bet, let me be like a thousand, maybe a couple hundred, you know. Don't bet too much on this fight. Because even though, um, I, I, um, I think, um, Floyd Mayweather is going to win, but you never know, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Floyd retired a while ago from his last fight. And he probably wasn't like, Training still, he's probably chilling, you know, getting drunk, hanging out. You know, he's rich, like he's richer than freaking Bill. Well, not that, you know, he's rich. He's rich as hell. He has a whole bunch of cars. He has like a Ferraris out the ass, you know. He's the money team is, you know, they 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 money team, you know. That's why he's rich. So he's not gonna um, who knows, you know, how much training he's been doing. I mean. And I know um, boxing and MMA are different. Like, boxers have way better boxers than MMA fighters because boxers don't, um, they train one thing, and that's boxing daily. <laughs> you know, shit so like that, you know. So, like, that's all they do. You know, you know. So, it's like every day they're boxing, boxing, working boxing. They're not, like... One day an MMA fighter has to work his takedown defense, his wrestling, his takedowns. He has to work his jiu-jitsu, his ground, his submissions, you know. He has to work his kickboxing and stuff, Muay Thai. So he has to work out his leg kicks, leg kick blocks. It's a different, um, it's a whole, it's a different, um, ball game. When you're kicking, you're like this, you know, because you're blocking kicks and stuff. You're like, bam, you know, you're like, Shh, huh, you know. Ta -ta, you know, you're blocking kicks, and you know, you know, what I'm saying you're you have a weird stance. You're like, you know, lifting your leg for like, you know, and shit like stuff like that, like to block leg kicks, check leg kicks, you know, front kicks, side kicks, 
spinning kicks, you know? So you can't really, you know, it's like, it's a totally different way of stance. Punches, punches, you just don't, 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 you know, don't, don't. <laughs> like stuff like that, you're punching and you're, you're throwing body shots, a lot of body shots, head shots, jabs, slipping, you're slipping a lot. You're not doing too much slipping in the kickboxing in Muay Thai because, you know, you could slip, like, if you just slip a, slip a punch, you could slip a kick, you duck, boom, get kneed in the face, get kicked in the head, you know, so you gotta be, watch out the kicks, you know, you can slip, you slip, I slip some, like when I sport kickboxing, but then you gotta watch out, you don't get, like, crapped in the head with a kick, or front kicked in the face, or side kick, you know, because, you know, there's kicks, so it's like, and yet your vision is different. Boxing is like, dun, 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 dun. Kickboxing, you're just like, you know, in Muay Thai, you're, you know, you're, you gotta watch the leg kicks, you know, there's, you know, it's like the whole, it's a whole different kind of, um, ball game. Although boxing is good because, you know, someone throws a kick, like, my, my, I have my boxing with kicks, so, you know, that's how my style is, I'm like, doo doo doo, I'm like, bam, block a kick, and you go, dun, 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 you know, throw some, throw a lot of bombs, you could, you know, beat a, um, a kickboxer's ass. But like a um, like a high level um, Muay Thai kickboxer K1 style guy, he's gonna be like, "Waba!" You're gonna be taking hits like those kicks are hard. So if you're just a boxer, you don't know how to block them. You're like, you just doof, you get kicked like in the chest or something, like spinning hook, back kick right in the chest, boom, lay you straight out, and it's not gonna um feel good. So. That's pretty much um what's gonna happen. It's a lot of money. It's like a hundred dollars for this fight. So one hundred dollars is crazy. Um, people are gonna be live streaming. Everyone's gonna live stream it. So, um, you could try to live stream it. Uh, I don't recommend it. I'm, I'm not gonna tell tell you to go out and steal. Um, cause it's just not proper etiquette. But. Go to a bar, you know, try to, you know, get some ladies and stuff, you know, because if, 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 if the fight ends early and, you know, and it's like a two second KO or whatever, and you wasted all that money, at least, you know, go grind on some girls like, do, 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 or dudes, or whatever, whatever, who well, I'm talking to every one of my fans, you know, go boom, 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 you know, you know, AM Southampton's having them with Chris Algieri, the professional, the high ranking um fighter who fought um Oscar de la Hoya. No, he blah blah I'm I'm sorry. He fought um Pacquiao. Um Chris Algieri fought Pacquiao. And he stayed in, he didn't get KO'd, so he's a beast. He's gonna be at AM Southampton. Um you could go to um, Cairns and Westbury. I think Bellavino is going to have it. I think they're going to order it because um, our friends that, you know, my friend is friends, you know, they're all into that violent sports. So they're probably going to order the fight. They better or they should because it's going to make money. So Bellavino is the secret though because I don't know if um, they're, they're ordering it like to their own. They're not ordering it for like, they're not promoting it as they're ordering the fights. So, um, go there, you might, they might get the fights, or you might not, I'm not sure. But go to Bellavino and check it out. Arugas probably has it. It's going to be packed out. Arugas is crazy packed all the time. There's a couple other places that probably have it. Um, you know, look around. You know, we'll go online. But yeah, fight's going to be nuts, so, um... Watch the fight, and um, remember, go out to watch it. Don't stay at home, because then if you order that and all that money, and there's like a two-cent KO, then you wasted your money. So go to, like, a, a barish club. At least you could, you know, try to grind. Like I would say AM Southampton or Bellavino, because I don't think, um, I don't know if they're going to charge people to get in. So... Alright, but I'm not 100% on Bellavino having it. So, don't quote me on that. Um, Vuz News, please subscribe to my news station. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. 
and hit that subscribe. I might stream the fights. I might put the fight on here. I might I might um upload the fight or tape it and put some of the rounds on here. So if I do that, you know, it's not going to be for long because they're going to take it down. So I'm going to leave it up for like, like, like a half a day. So be sure to subscribe to Vu's News. All right, Vu's News signing out. Love you guys. And let's go.